Dan Alpha's master here. So I'm playing Rivals of Apia right now. I just, just got this game on Steam a while ago. Have I never played it much? Which I haven't played at all, so I'm going to play the tutorial. Movement. Everyone has to start somewhere. Beginner movement. Welcome to the Beginner Movement Tutorial, I'm Warby, your host and guide to learning the basic survivors of Avia. Let's begin with the basic controls for walking. To walk gently, move the control stick, don't push too hard or you'll run instead. Good, now let's try running. To run, quickly flick the control stick in the direction you wanna go. Let's tackle jump. Up next. To jump, just press the jump button. Make sure to hold the button long enough for a full jump. So I press Z and jump. Now follow me by using double jumps. To perform my double jump, press the jump button while in the air. Careful though, you can only double jump once you touch the ground again. These platforms are different from your usual ground. Not only can you jump through them, you can also drop down from them. Quickly press down on the control stick to fall through the platforms. While falling, you can keep holding down the past through your subsequent platforms. Fantastic, now that you've learned the math, the basic. Now that you've mastered the basics of movement, we can move on to the more advanced lessons. Got it. Learn how to defend yourself from incoming attacks. Welcome to begin for your defense tutorial. The following lessons will teach you the basic techniques to defend yourself from enemy attacks. First up is the parry. Parrying is performed by pressing the dodge button on the ground without holding left or right. I'm not even that good at fighting games, but I'm gonna learn this. If you parry an enemy attack, the opponent will, will be momentarily stunned, leaving them open to a counter attack. Parries are not instant, however, they become active two frames after pressing long cooldown afterward. Second. Let's try it out. Parry my attacks three times in a Oh, I have to Be used to reflect projectiles. This does not usually stun the opponent, but still gives you invincibility. Try reflecting three of my projectiles in a row. Got it. No. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now let's try rolling. If you're holding left or right when you press the dodge button, you'll roll instead of parrying. Rolling won't stun your opponent, but it can sometimes be less risky than a parry, since it can create a distance between you and your enemy. Try rolling out of the of my attack three times in a row. Right, S. I'm horrible at firing games. Got it. No. Let's move on to air dodging. If you press the dodge button while in the air, you will perform an air dodge. Hold the direction while on air dodging to move in that direction. Careful though, you can only air dodge once you touch the ground. Jump near me and I'll attack you. Try air dodging my attacks three times in a row. Amazing, as you can 
how docking attacks takes good timing and can be pretty risky. Make sure to practice all these techniques so that you can defend yourself properly. A lot of different types of attacks and how to use them. Beginner offense. Welcome to the beginner offense tutorial. These lessons will teach you all of the different types of attacks in the game as well as the terminology used for them. The most basic attack is the jab combo. Press the attack button while your control stick is in a neutral position to start a jab combo. Press the attack button. And again, to continue the jab combo. Most jab combos consist of three different hits. Let's try it out. Hit me with all three hits of your jab combo three times in a row. X, then X, then X. Let's try dash attack. While running, simply press the attack button for a dash attack. Let's move on. If you hold the direction and press the attack button while on the ground, you'll do a light directional attack. These attacks are called tilts. There are three different types of tilts determined by the direction you tilt your control stick. Prefer to tilt. Up, hold sideways and press attack. Up tilt, hold upward and press attack. Down tilt, hold downward and press attack. Try hitting me three of each. When doing an, an F tilt, make sure not to run first. Let's try strong attacks. If you press the strong button while on the ground, you'll perform a strong attack. The type of strong attack you perform depends on the direction you hold. Forward, strong, hold sideways, or neutral and press strong. Got it. If you hold down the strong button, you can charge your strong attack to increase its power. The right stick. I need to use the D. Now let's practice a aerial attacks. If you do press the attack button or the strong button here. Uh, uh, okay, I got this. There are five different types of aerials determined by the direction of the control stick. Z then X. Got it. Got it. Z then right then X.
I gotta do it in the fall. Special attacks are very, they greatly between characters, and some specials also exchange if they're used in the air. There are both types of special attacks determined by the direction of the control stick. Got it? Try hitting me with three of each type of special. Perfect, now that you know about all the different kinds of attacks, you can experiment with them to learn more about each other. I got an achievement. So I can learn about, about the other characters. Shovel Knights in this game. Okay, so...
Well, I'm just using my keyboard to play right now.
victory. I can make a profile. Oh, so I can get rewards. That's pretty good. A store road?
so I can like unlock new characters. I'm not too sure what these level things are.
only have one base for this. For one life.
avoid the ground. So I might just end this for now. This is a pretty fun game. So I might play here some more of this soon. So this is Dying Alpha's Master. I'm out. Bye.